Yeah, so this is what we're on today. I don't know if this is a, like a common issue or anything like that, but we're gonna see if we can fix it. So, hatch jar is the light that I got on. Okay. But, trunk is fully closed, so. Yeah, we're gonna see what's up with these latches. They're pretty easy to get to, but we're gonna see if we can uh, get this stuff fixed. All right, so it's pretty simple to get to. You got this latch thing right here. Well, not latch, but this little twist in. So untwist that. No tools needed for that. And then you got one right here in the corner. Untwist that. So it's gonna be the same for both sides, but I'm just gonna do this side because I think this is where I got my issue at. Uh, I had a basket of clothes in here earlier or something, and I guess. I'm thinking maybe it was sitting too far on this side and it kind of had the trunk a little wopsided. I don't know, but I was messing with this side earlier and I made the light go off. So I'm assuming that was the fix. Like the problem was on this side and not the other side. So oh, I forgot. Y'all take this off. The trunk is real dirty. But take that off. This little side piece, you pull it straight out. This side. It's like a tab coming this way. So you really just pull it out towards the front of the car. Grip it wherever you can. Grip it on the bottom if you need to. And it should kind of pop out. It's a little tight though, but... Took a little work, had to use two hands, but this is all you got though. Just this little tab right here. Uh, nothing else though. No other things holding it. You gotta come around this piece or whatever. But that's it. It's just this one tab and everything else kind of just fits in real good. You need you a flathead or something to unplug this wire for this light. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that real quick and turn y'all back on. So. Once you get that unplugged, this whole piece comes out, and as you can see, there's nothing else on here. No no other tabs or anything like that. It's just, it's literally just this one push-in thing right here, and then everything else is just kind of form-fitted and molded. So, get that out the way. Here you got your trunk latch. So, I don't know if it's the sensor, which is, move this out the way, but... I don't know if it's this part that's uh, acting funny or what. This is the cable from, uh, had a video before. This is how you actually open the trunk if the battery is dead. But for some dumb reason, the cable is way back here. So you would have to crawl into the trunk from the front of the car to reach. So I got another video about that. So I put that on here if y'all want to watch that. But anyway, uh, yeah. This is the latch. So, I don't know why this is not turning off. So, what I did earlier, I came down like a, you can press down on the latch, which, you know, you can do this with, uh, do this with door handles, with doors and stuff on them tin windows, like on Mustangs and Challengers and stuff. Uh, anything that's got indexing windows. So, you can use it for that. So it'll simulate that the door or the trunk is actually closed when it is not. So just like that, this light is off. So the car thinks everything is closed. So I'm slap this key in here real quick. And we shouldn't have a door ajar light. Or a trunk ajar. Yeah, so nothing is saying that it is uh, open. So let me hit the button. All right, now we get the hatchet jar. So not quite sure what's going on with this. Uh, I'm going to mess around with it for a little bit. If you want to change this latch, which I don't know if I'm going to have to, but maybe. 
it's only these three bolts right here three 10 millimeter bolts a couple plugs and this should come right off you can slap a new one in so it shouldn't be that complicated to change if i have to change it but hopefully i can figure out why this isn't registering and then i can just uh fix that and be done so this might be it for now i'm gonna mess around a little bit and uh see what i can come up with all right trunk is closed no message on here saying that it's open the light isn't on so i don't know what the actual issue is or what the fix is but uh i just keep y'all posted on this because i was riding earlier and while i was riding the light just popped on saying that the hatch was open but physically nothing was actually loose it's just the whatever is registering in here was saying it was open so not quite sure what that is but uh i'll keep y'all posted on that if anything else changes on it but you know that's how you would get to it to change the latch so it's easy easy to get to easy to change if it comes to that but uh yeah i will keep y'all posted on that still waiting on the update on the wheels uh it's been raining the last few days so i didn't get to mess with the wide body like i thought i would but uh I might mess around with it tomorrow, I guess. I think I should have some time tomorrow. So I'll, I'll probably play around with it and uh, see if I can get that going. The plan is to just get everything bolted on. I take the wheels off thing. I take out this uh, fender liner in here. But the plan is to just bolt everything on. And then I can start working and uh, body work and filling in the little edges. I know I got a gap right here I'm going to have to fill. So... That's the plan. Hopefully I can get on this tomorrow and uh, I will catch y'all after that. But hopefully this trunk deal is, uh, hope it sorts itself out throughout the day. But spray some uh, like WD-40 on the actual, like in here, help it kind of move a little bit. I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea, but that's what I did. So we're just gonna wait, wait around and see what happens. But if all else fails and the light stays on, you know, these Chevys, they come with the little retained accessory power or whatever. So it'll cut all the lights off after about 10 minutes anyway. So I don't have to worry about it draining the battery, but it'll just be slightly annoying if it keeps going. But yeah, hopefully this is it. And uh, I will catch y'all in the next one. And if something else happens, you'll figure it out. But let me know if you had any issues with the trunk, if you got a C5.